Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing good. So in this video, I will be making filo dough. So if you remember my last video last weekend, I made baklava. Those are super awesome. But in the video, I said that if you're going to make baklavas, you should probably buy the filo dough because it is quite a hard dough to make. And then in the video, I also said I would probably try making the dough myself anyway because I like making. I like cooking, but I specifically enjoy working with dough and stuff. I don't know, I just like the sensory of kind of mashing the ingredients together, forming the dough with my hands, you know? It's just fun. So I did end up making it. So I had also said if I do end up making it, I would say if it's worth buying the dough to make your baklavas or if you, or if you can just make the dough and then make your baklavas from scratch. And I would say even though this is harder than regular dough, it's really not that hard. It will take a lot more patience though because when you're kneading it, you want the dough to be really soft, like really, really soft and elastic. So you'll have to knead it longer. Not only that, but the amount of like how much you have to roll out the dough is a lot more and you have to be done and it's a more delicate process too because you have to make it like so thin that it's almost see-through so at that point it's hard to keep rolling and not ripping it apart so it does take a little bit more patience and a little bit more care so you know if you're not into that you don't want to put in the extra work which I totally understand like uh, it will take you like an extra two to three hours to make this just a dough you know making baklava itself is like a cooking it is like 50 minutes and then preparing it is like 10 20 minutes so the actual baklava process only takes you like a little over an hour but making dough itself is like two to three hours so if you just want to buy the dough i completely understand and i would honestly probably recommend do doing that unless you just enjoy making dough and working with dough like i do then i would recommend you make this because um let me tell you it was very fun amazing how supple the dough was and and it was also a very i don't know i had this sense of like wow i made that type of thing you know it's kind of stupid because it's dough but you know cooking will give you that that dopamine effect from time to time and making this was definitely fun and one of those moments so i just realized i haven't said anything about the video and i've been just rambling on for two minutes <laughs> But that's okay because this is the most important part. So we roll out each dough ball into like five inch diameter little sheet and then we stack them and then we roll them out together. But we want to put cornstarch between each layer so that they don't get stuck. And now this is probably the most important, the delicate part I was speaking about because you really want to be gentle and keep rolling it out in all directions, making sure they don't get stuck. I mean, they're not going to get stuck if you have enough cornstarch in between, but yeah you really want to roll them out until they're paper thin until you can see your hand through them you'll see what that looks like in a little bit And then after I made the filo dough, I decided to make a little dinner dish. <laughs> so I made mashed potatoes, I guess. I boiled some potatoes, I put in like tomatoes and some stuff. I put in a little bit of cheese, but I guess I did not put in enough cheese. Because I was hoping to make it cheesy, but you're going to see at the end it's not cheesy. I mean, it tasted cheesy, but it didn't look cheesy because I didn't put enough cheese in there. But basically, potato, tomato, some uh, sprinkling, some spices and stuff. Not important, just, you know, mashed potatoes. And then I rolled them up uh, and I baked them for like half an hour maybe uh, at like 350 degrees and they came out real good. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you liked. And that's it. Nice and easy, but more importantly, nice and lazy.